Doesn't have too much smell to it. First time filming with the GoPro Hero 10 Black. I need to take these Velociraptors out of here and move them into the chicken tractor. So first I'm gonna need that cage that I have over here. about half of them moved. I don't know if you can see it. I put them in that cage. Then they pooped in the cage. And then they flapped in the cage and blew chicken poop all over me. Stand by to stand by. This will be the first time those guys have seen anything but that trough. And this is the first time they'll see clover and grass and such. Some of these are considerably bigger. I would suspect that the smaller ones are the females. You can order these and just get males. You pay more for just males. And you gotta keep in mind, they're standing in poop and their nails will scratch you and you will get poop in your scratch. Peter's over there, they know what it looks like. It's just new environment. Yeah, they love grass, they love that clover. They just don't know they can eat it yet. That clover's been doing really well. Right now it is, yeah. I threw, we, we put a lot of clover down this year. We put down clover enough that it would grow and kind of, the clover grew big enough and the grass, we didn't cut it too short, so it kept shade. If we cut this at two inches right now, this whole pen out here would be dead. Yeah, look how tall the grass is up top. Still look, thinking we fence the rest all the way to the edge. Yeah, so we can put dogs in here. I'll give dog give dogs access to here. This was the first whale that I planted. These trees are growing more and more, even though I thought most of them were dead. So whatever this year is, nothing has performed here. This was my second row. My third row over here is starting to perform. And even these that I thought was dead, there's grass, there's there's a uh, live growing on the base there. Yeah, I had those things probably close to three months in boxes, and uh, that's. But I mean, even this, like here, look, I put these in. That one's growing. Yeah. So I mean, there's still a chance. There's still some viability. Yeah, we'll keep watering them. But I just ordered 200 more. Here's one growing, because it's so, because it's so late in the year, I couldn't get the cheap ones, the inexpensive. 
Yeah, I got four footers coming. The big thing is though, if feed gets scarce, it's more important to have the trees in than to have the money that's losing money. Tennessee just dropped sales tax on precious metals. Yep, gold and silver I saw specifically. I don't know about other metals. There's all kinds of people pushing gun control stuff right now. Yeah, but a lot of it, I mean, they always do, right? They ask for the world, yeah. panic everybody, and then when they whittle it down to something small, they take one more right, one more piece of the puzzle away from you. Super wealthy people aren't affected by gun control. If you wanted to have guns and you had a lot of money, you could do a few things, right? You could set up as a gun business. Mm -hmm. You could do business specifically with law enforcement. You could get pre-dealer samples. So that puts guns in your hand, you know, that you couldn't have. You could also just do the paperwork and buy legal machine guns. You could set up as a, a I think it's a Title II manufacturer. I mean, we know a ton of guys that have all that knowledge that do that stuff. So, I mean, it's, it's a rich guy game. So right next to the nest over in the uh, compost bin, there's a chicken nest in there with a chicken sitting on them. I gave all these guys a water. These all plumped up. So this is the new camera, first time filming. You have to hook it up to your phone for it to work. I couldn't get it to do anything until I let the phone have it. And once it pings your phone, you don't have to do any of the setup, but they make you ping the phone. Like I don't even have the phone in range. It runs on Bluetooth and then connects to Wi-Fi. Do you have to have the phone to turn that camera on and use it or just for the initial setup? Just the first time. I, I could not do it without it. I watched videos and everything. Yeah, it's definitely linked. So that's Mama Duck and her three. And these guys all went out on their own. So I cut this trench over here thinking I'd evacuate some water. Yeah, it's worse than I thought. So, because we knew it was leaking here, right? It gets, it gets soupy here. You can see the water coming out. That tree is pissing. There's water running right out the base of it. I can't remember if I ordered anything cool. What's up again? How much is this one? Not sure. The angles on this camera, what setting I have yet. I need to check. Do it. What is it? No. We don't know what it is yet. What would something I'm guesstimating? It used to be set up for, it had a trolley on the table, right? So you'd clamp it on this end, run it to this end, clamp it, run it back, so you'd yeah. 20 layers deep and you'd saw cut everything and you don't have to have as much skill either. We got a little ways till lunch. I've got a live I have to do with uh, Drac. Drac is our guest with Nicole and I today on a live feed, Thursday live feed, which we usually don't do. We've got some uh, fanny packs. Well, they're FUPAs, right? So these actually will wear as a fanny pack or uh, as a chest rig with these loops here. And they come with a set of shoulder straps as well as a waist strap. And what I'm gonna do here is just shoot a picture of them and uh, engage the audience, ask them a question. Would you, do you like Typhon or Multicam Black better? And then also tell them, hey, we have these, and we'll put a click through link to where they could order them if they want. I think we might have a dozen of each of them. We built them last night, they just finished up. We did all kinds of these different colors. Um, by the time you see this video, uh, you can definitely look online at soetacticalgear.com and just put in FUPA. But chances are, they'll probably be gone by then, by the time you see this video. If you're interested in the product, you know, I don't show a whole lot of product on the YouTube because the YouTube's just a couple weeks behind usually. Um, but you can get on our social media on Instagram or Facebook or TikTok, and then you'll see when we actually release these. And if you go to the website, we have a text app, and if you get on there, we send a text out every day, every other day, just showing what's available. And it usually sells out just from the text app before you see it anywhere else. I am by no means a photographer. I'm shooting with my phone. I have this light just for a little bit of backfill. I'll shoot this as a short video, as a reel, right? So I'm gonna start just on these two because I wanna focus on this to where you can really see the product and scale back and show you that there are also more of them here. do it. I would love to be able to do better photos, better photography, better um, social media stuff, but it'll, it sells out. Like we sell everything we make without even being able to do it. And scaling 
has been our issue, right? I live in the middle of nowhere. To do production in a larger manner, we have to outsource, which has never worked, or we have to set up manufacturing someplace else. And uh, I like being where I'm at, so we just uh, do it the way we've been doing it. So still on the same battery. I'm saving these boxes. Man, I'm not, I'm not sure if saving cardboard is worth it after you actually take the time to pull all the darn tape off of it. Ooh, that is a smell. I'm gonna pull this out of here, but I'm getting these carts here. Um, we had that kid put these together, so I've got two, and then he took off, so I never had him do the third, and I haven't taken the time to do it, so. Where does it go? Looks like it's all together. It's off of this one. This is the one that's missing. So I think Cody said this wouldn't thread past. It, it's just like a dead thread. Let's see if I can get it to thread. It. Okay, so I got one in, but I am in fact missing parts, which is weird because I felt like we always had an extra couple parts for each uh, unit. And I feel like over the last few years, we have a bag full of extra parts. I just don't know where those got put. Immediately, I can at least get one of these out here and filled up. I'm holding this phone, listening to Bear Independent right here. This stuff is a little slimy. Doesn't have too much smell to it, so I think there's definitely not a lot of life in it. Well, that's two cubic feet, or so they say. Do we really, do we really believe that? Like I haven't measured it. Now this will have the appearance of being full. As soon as you water it and it compresses a little, it is not at all full. I will also take and mix rabbit manure in with this to bring it up some. Keep in mind too, depending what you're growing, these beds don't have to be full, right? So it kind of is three quarter full, but within a couple weeks it will compress to half full. You can still grow plenty of shit in there. get them a bigger water, which I have. I'll go do that. tonight I don't want to get a whole lot and have it sit there in case it rains if it does rain you can take that stuff and let it sit for a few days and then take the liquid off it and use it as a fertilizer and make a rabbit fruit tea So my plant identifier says all this stuff growing in here is amaranth. And I suspect it's coming out of the rabbit feed and the rabbit poop and there's feed under the cages. I Because I have a ton of it this year and I didn't use rabbit last year and the beds that have it are all rabbit poop beds. Now I've got rabbit poop in other beds that don't have it but I don't know where else this would come from because this was all bagged soil. And a lot of it was soil I used last year that didn't grow this, but I top dressed them with the rabbit poop. So maybe 
different periods of time in the rabbit feed. Amaranth was in some of it and not in other. Maybe that's why some of the beds don't have it. I'm about to water these and uh, then I'm done out here, I guess, for tonight. Yeah, man, I'm